Okay, we've got some algebra in question nine. We're asked to simplify a plus a plus a plus a. That means write that in a neater algebraic way. We've got one a, add another a is two a, add another a is three a, add another a is four a. Okay, so we've got four a. That means four times a. A added together four times. Simplify three multiplied by c multiplied by d. Well, um, probably the easiest way to think of it is C multiplied by D. A mathematician would just write that as CD. They don't have the multiply sign there. And 3 multiplied by this would just be 3CD. Okay, so 3CD is the way a mathematician writes it. They just take away the multiply sign with algebra. We're asked to simplify the following. We've got 3EF plus, e, uh, plus 5EF subtract 1EF. So 3EF plus 5EF is clearly 8EF, and we're going to take away 1EF, so we're going to be left with 7EF. Okay? Now solve 6 multiplied by G is 18. We're trying to find what G is. Okay, now there are a couple of ways to think about it. If you think of balancing, we, we could divide both sides of the equation by 6 to get what 1g is, and g would be equal to 18 divided by 6. That's how we write that, and g would be 3, and we check our answer. 6 times 3 is actually 18. We could just think of what number multiplies by 6 to get 18, but that's harder in a decimal case, but we could do that. Or we could just think of G as something we don't know if we're, if we're not too happy with algebra. 6 multiplied by something is equal to 18. What is the something? Well, it must be 3. Okay, so th there are different ways of doing it, but at the end, check your answer. 6 times 3 is 18, so G is equal to 3. And solve 5H plus 7 equals 17. The balance method, do the same thing to both sides. I would subtract 7 off both sides of the equation. So I would get that 5h is therefore equal to 10, okay, because 7 to take away 7 is nothing, and 17 to take away 7 is 10. And then I could divide both sides by 5, and I would get that h is therefore equal to 2, and I would check my answer. 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 7 is 17, I got it. Alternatively, you could just think of 5 multiplied by a number plus 7 is equal to 17. Okay, what's that number? And you could think of numbers. Alternatively, you could think of h. You could think of starting with h, right? And the first thing you do to h is you multiply it by 5 to get 5h. And then what you do is you add 7 to get 5h plus 7. And you're told that's equal to 17, so that's equal to 17. So to go backwards, to undo what I've done above, you would subtract 7. So 17 subtract 7 is 10. And then to undo multiply by 5, you would divide by 5. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. And that tells you that H must have been 2. There are many different ways of doing it. Find the one that's comfortable for you.